So high level updates to the domains. Network architecture appears for the first time and we've included this because cloud is becoming so prevalent and popular. Um, if, even if you're not moving on the security path, you know, or you are on the security path and you want to be involved in cloud, whether it's like um, SecOps, SysOps, DevSecOps, uh, you know, whatever kind of area that might be, you need to understand network architecture. And we've included that now, including software-defined networking, which is really one of those cutting edge pieces that's started to become uh, less cutting edge, less emerging tech, and more just everyday tech. Uh, so we have added this to make sure that these network integrations and the architecture around them is fully understood. It's really gonna help you advance your career to the next step to understand these things and be able to discuss the common language of networking. Uh, emerging wireless standards and tech has been included more so, and this is really to allow flexibility for your deployments uh, when you're deploying networks. What are the wireless standards and technologies that you're going to want to use? So you kind of have a full quiver, uh, so to speak, of them to, to choose from. Uh, SaaS applications, the third kind of thing here, and this is all has to do with the, you know, the work from home movement, and then network performance monitoring and high availability. These are separate objectives. They're going to be covered in depth because it's extremely important to have a network that's working, that has the right um, low amount of latency, that you know doesn't have network jitter, that has high availability, and these are being covered so that you can understand them at the objective level, and then security. We understand that Security Plus is its own certification, and we don't want the Security Plus stuff to be bleeding over into the other certifications, but there's going to be security on every certification because you know it's a security first mindset, right? So what we've done is we've streamlined the security to focus on these critical aspects of hardening networks and executing deployments to make sure that there are not unintended data breaches. Uh, it's really important for these network administrators when they're setting up and helping set up networks to do it correctly because we've seen data breaches are, I think I saw something the other day, like 95% of data breaches are due to the result of an internal error. And that's just staggering that we can protect against that, which really helps, you know, protect your job, protect the, protect the business. So yeah, I just wanted new? to uh, jump, oh, yeah, please. jump in and remind everyone that they can uh, ask questions. So feel free to drop any questions in, uh, in the, the question panel and we'll be sure to uh, pass those, those along to Randall. Uh, but yeah, one, one thing that I wanted to ask you about was it seems to me like the network plus is starting to cover, you know, more stuff. So I, I was wondering if you think it's it's harder now maybe than the previous version and the reason I ask is because you know you brought up cloud and now there's these hybrid environments and there's just more devices everywhere so it seems based on that that candidates would then have to know more in order to like understand all those things and how they interact so do you think it, it's more challenging now than the previous version or not so I, I, I've agreed with you your first couple of questions I'm gonna have to disagree with you on on this one um, we've actually and I, I I did the math I literally took both sets of objectives put one on a screen and the other on a screen and counted objectives counted domains counted sub objectives counted sub bullets this took me um, a solid couple of hours uh, there's five domains on on each exam here let me flip over to the the domain screen here I think it'd be good to have this in the background um, on the 007 certification, there's 29 objectives. There's only 25 on the 008, so we've streamlined it. We have looked at what is the critical things that you're going to need if you are working on networks in this way. Um, and the sub-objectives as well, we've gone from 235 of these, of these sub-bullets to 157. Um, so really what we've done is we said, what's really important to know? Um, we've, and we've added some stuff on there that's important. But the other important thing is deprecated technologies, we've taken them off. Um, things that we don't see being used, those have been removed. Stuff that is now kind of part of a plug and play, we only expect that you're going to need to know how to plug it in and let it play, not that you're going to have to really be able to um, replicate what is what is occurring there. And this will become a little more evident as I um, get into the next slides. But I think that's a really fair question that we're not 
expecting individuals to be able to set up a cloud instance, like to be able to go into Azure or AWS and um, to set up the cloud, just to know that, you know, the cloud's out there and I might need to be networked to it in some way, but not that you're going to have to be able to operate within it. So it, it, it's a good question. I don't think it's it's more difficult. It's more appropriate for the the world that we live in now. And we've really, I think this is the main thing we've done, looked at what are these emerging technologies that are being used and why do we need to know them? And what are those old technologies that are being replaced and we don't need to know those anymore?